Hi everyone, my name is Lana and welcome to a new video! So today I am going to update you guys on the wedding because there are a few new things that I need to update you guys on. Like for instance, I already bought my wedding dress! <laughs> it was a bit of an impulsive purchase, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, let's just, let's just get into it. So, my wedding dress. Um, yeah, very, very impulsive. And it's so funny because when I was trying on wedding dresses, when my friends were there, I kept telling them, I was like, I'm really impulsive. You cannot let me buy anything because I won't think twice about it. I'll just buy it and then I'll have shopper's guilt and it is going to kill me because it's a very special day and it needs to be perfect and I don't know if I can just buy something just like this. But that is what I ended up doing, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I went with my friends to just one fitting, so the very first fitting, and since then I actually had my heart set on a specific dress that I didn't end up getting, and I actually tried it on a few different times at different places, and then at the last place that I went to, I saw this one dress that was so beautiful, and they were actually having like a trunk showing from this brand, and so they were offering a discount if you bought a dress from this brand. And I was like, oh, this dress is a little bit expensive. That discount would definitely work. So I bought the dress. <laughs> and then after I was like, what the f did I just do? But by that point, they had already gotten my measurements. They already got my card information. So it was a little too late, but it's fine. I do love the dress. I just wish that I thought it through a little bit more because this dress I had only ever tried on once and the other one I had tried on like four different times. And not to say that like I prefer the other one, I don't. I think the other one was really beautiful and I don't wanna show you guys a picture because I feel like the two dresses are kind of similar, but what I can say is that if you guys follow Marcia, I don't know if you follow her channel, but uh, she's been trying on wedding dresses as well and it's so funny because she tried on basically the same wedding dresses that I tried on, like. A few months ago. So if you kind of want to have an idea of the dresses that I was looking at, then maybe check out her channel. I'm gonna link it down below. So what I did want to talk to you guys about though is how funny it is that you typically have this idea of how you want to look on your wedding day, but most of the time the dress that you end up going for is so different to what you had in mind. Like for instance, I was so sure that I would get married in a very like boho kind of dress just because that is very my style. And while I did think that those dresses looked so beautiful on, I kind of had this weird feeling where I was like, these dresses are so beautiful, but I feel like I can wear them at any moment and they're not as special. Whereas a dress that was a little bit more fancy and a little bit more princessy, so I'm gonna just throw that out there. I did go for a princessy kind of dress. It just felt so right to me. Also because the venue that we chose is at a castle. I mean, it sounds a lot cooler than it is, but it's like a small castle, like a really, really tiny one. But still, nonetheless, it is a castle. So I feel like that just felt a little bit more appropriate. So yeah, so I already got my dress. I am considering altering it just a little bit just because the dress that I got doesn't have sleeves and I kind of always wanted sleeves on a wedding dress. I always thought that that would look really beautiful and I could never find any wedding dress that had sleeves that like also had more of an A-line cut because I feel like that really flatters my body. So I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrap the top and then just like start over from scratch with the same fabric and just add sleeves and all of that. I have been talking to a tailor already and she said that it was possible. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not really sure because uh, I feel like some people really love the dress how it is. And then some people think that it would look better with sleeves. I'm just so scared that they're gonna mess it up. That's like my only worry. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I am gonna go try on my wedding dress today, like the actual one, because I bought it like three months ago and it's already ready. So I'm gonna try it on today. I'm bringing my two friends with me, Sheena and Phil, and they're going to give me their opinion on it. And it's gonna be great because one of them is a girl, one of them is a guy, so that way I can have two different opinions and I think it'd be really, really helpful. <laughs> I think I might end up adding sleeves. I don't know, I don't know. 
Anyways, I feel like I'm giving away too much. So let's move on to the other wedding plans. So as I already said, we already got a venue. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. Um, I don't really rewatch my old videos, so I don't remember what I said, but I don't think that we had one. I'm not sure. But anyways, as I had said before, it is a tiny little castle in the north of Spain because that is where Luthu is from. I think I did mention already that we were gonna get married in Spain just because I feel like he has so much family there already and also getting married in Spain just sounds like a freaking dream. So that is where we're gonna have it, um, at a little castle and we already have our date as well. So get ready because next year on July 6th, we, me and Luthu who's upstairs, we're gonna get married. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I feel so unprepared because we really don't have that many preparations yet. I feel like we're a little bit behind schedule. Both Luther and I are very laid back and we're kind of, we both don't like to plan. So it's kind of difficult to plan a wedding when both of us are the same and not really wanting to make that many decisions. I don't know. Um, we do have wedding planners, which, is pretty helpful, but still, I feel like we kind of need to get on top of our game because, I mean, it's not gonna happen if we don't. <laughs> but I can tell you that I have been thinking about a few different things, and let me know what you think. Luthu is not really on board with any of this because he's a very traditional kind of guy. He wants a very, like, traditional wedding, and I want a bit more of a fun wedding, you know? like. I feel like weddings can sometimes be a little bit repetitive, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like most weddings kind of all blend together. Like they all just look the same. So I just wanted to do something that would make it more enjoyable for our guests and also for us as well. So my first idea, <laughs> you guys are probably going to think this is ridiculous. Okay. My first idea is to have Someone dressed up as Dumbledore officiating the wedding. <laughs> Luthu does not like this idea, but I think that I can try to convince him to do this one just because I feel like that would be so special, you know? Like, someone is gonna have to officiate the wedding anyway. Why not have them dressed up as Dumbledore? I feel like that would be so <laughs> fun. I don't know. Are you with me? Do you think that that's too much? I mean, I definitely want to sprinkle a few like Harry Potter bits here and there into the wedding. And I feel like that would be such a cool way to implement Harry Potter into it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then another idea I had as well. So in case you didn't know, Luthu is a huge fan of Star Wars. And so I thought that maybe it would be cool to have, instead of having like a typical flower girl, I thought that it would be cool to instead have a stormtrooper with a basket of flowers and everything. So doing the same thing, but just have a stormtrooper. <laughs> is that too much? I don't know. I mean, we definitely wouldn't have both Dumbledore and the stormtrooper. We would have like either or, but I do think that either one would be really cool. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I maybe it is a little bit dorky, but I feel like that's kind of who I am. So it just, it feels right, you know? And then for the ceremony, no, the reception. Oh, I never remember which is which ceremony is the wedding part, right? And then reception is the dinner and party part, right? I think so. I think, I think so. Okay, so for the reception, aka the party part, I did wanna have like stormtroopers just walking around so people can take pictures with it. Again, I think that that would just be really fun. And I do wanna have like a photo booth and all of that. So if I can have stormtroopers like pop into the photo booth with people, that would be really cool. And then I do want to implement some more Harry Potter things. So, oh, well, I don't know if I should share everything, honestly. Maybe I should leave a few things for later, but um, I do have a few other ideas that are a bit more chic, like Harry Potter chic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, if you guys do have other ideas for ways that I can bring Harry Potter into the wedding and Star Wars as well, like if you've ever seen it, in a Pinterest post or in, you know, any kind of wedding that you've been to, please let me know in the comments because I feel like I need more ideas. I do have quite a few that I'm just not sharing because I'm a bad girl. <laughs> oh my God, that sounded really weird. But yeah, so I do have a few ideas, 
but I would love to know more, honestly. And then also, I have another question for you guys. So Luthu is Spanish, obviously, so his entire family speaks Spanish and they don't really speak English very much. And then my family is from Brazil and they do speak English for the most part. Oh my God, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But anyways, I speak English, obviously. I do speak some Spanish, so we were thinking of having the wedding, the ceremony be in Spanish, but I just feel like my guests are gonna feel a little bit excluded because they're not going to really understand. I would say that the majority of my guests speak English, or at least understand English. Um, and then a lot of his guests do too. It's just his family that doesn't. But then again, my family mainly speaks Portuguese, so. Oh, I don't know. See, before I thought like, hey, I need to find a way to do this bilingual wedding. But now I'm thinking it's actually trilingual. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, yeah. If you have ever been to a bilingual or trilingual wedding, please let me know what they did because I don't know how to make everyone feel included. Oh, this is so confusing. You see, this is why I don't like to plan because it's just too much. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I don't have that many other plans. Um, if I did forget something, then I will probably just update you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, for now, I think that's it. Do let me know though if you have any suggestions or any opinions on anything that I've said. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video in my next video. Oh my God, I don't even know how to sign out. Whee!